Welcome to Network Nuts YouTube channel and I am Alok Shrivastava. So in this video, I am going to, to share with you how you can scan a Kubernetes cluster for any vulnerabilities or security issues or compliances. This is very very important because you just cannot run a Kubernetes cluster with default configurations in a production. I hope you all will agree. So we need some tool which will help me in uh, scanning my cluster. Might be I will be interested in scanning my YAML file also. There, there might be some issues in the YAML files which I'm going to use as the Kubernetes manifest. Lot of tools are there. Like Kubebench is a tool which you can use. The Kubebench tool, I'm uh, pretty sure you, like couple of you might be already aware of the Kubebench tool. We have Docker Bench also, Cube Bench also. But the Cube Bench tool only uses in the back end, it only uses the CIS benchmarks. We have a very interesting tool which is Cubescape. A really interesting one. Cubescape is again a tool, it is obviously a, a open source tool. The best part is that you can use different frameworks to scan your test. So what I'm going to show you is we have a running cluster here so how can i use uh, kubescape to scan my cluster for any vulnerabilities or securities or compliances let's start this right this is what we'll be doing so this is our uh, github repository and um, network nuts kubernetes and here we have a directory or a folder I call it high value extras. So click on the high value extras. Before that, this is my cluster. My cluster is, is running. I'm accessing the cluster from a workstation machine. I'm not directly accessing or using the cluster using the manager, right? So I have a workstation machine from where I'm accessing my cluster. So I, if I give the command here, cube little get nodes, my cluster is perfectly ready, right? It is working properly. now. What I do now is I will be installing Kubescape here, right? So if you can refer the Kubescape official repository here, github.com slash Kubescape slash Kubescape. This is the official repository. A very interesting and rich of details and all the configurations. So I have just taken the relevant things and copied it here in our github repository so if you click uh, use here kubescape the first thing i had to do is i have to do the installation so my i am using linux machine so just copy and paste this location right it will install the kubescape here now this workstation machine i have done ssh so actually this workstation machine has got a ui right a gui installed here i can do it from here also I can uh, give the commands from here also like I can give the command here sorry I can do it from here uh, cube cuttle get node it's, it's the same thing but it's going to be very easy for me to do a copy paste so that is why I have taken the SSH of this machine from the mobile extra right so all I had to do is I simply get the package copy it and paste it here right I can use sudo the password obviously now this is going to install the kubescape for me right just wait wait for a while very small thing but very important small in the terms of installation not small in the terms of value you should always consider the value right the value that it gives you and the best part is that it allows you to scan your cluster with multiple frameworks like uh, your like NSA framework CIS benchmarks framework, right? Mitray framework, different frameworks it is able to scan with. So I'm uh, here, we are just installing the Kubescape. It has finished the installation, perfect, right? The easiest one is this. Now usage, even they have given you the usage. Remember to add Kubescape CLI path. So I'll just export this, right? Copy it, that's the first thing that you have to do and paste it, right? Now, so the cluster is there. I use the command kubescape kubescape scan enable host scan 
Now this may not be your first command, but let's do it. Now, why I am using enable host scan? See, Kubelet by default is not capable of getting all the information of the host while the while we are scanning, right? It doesn't send all the things. So what Kubescape does, please understand this. Kubescape install a small agent onto the worker if if I give this command, right? So this is my manager. If I will try to draw it for you, so it goes something like this. Okay. So what it worked like? I'll you I'll you use the pen here. Right. Change the color. So this is the manager, right? This is my where is my machine? Yeah. That's it. Oh, it's not running properly. Let me use my pen. Something is wrong with my pen. Why it is not running? Yeah. Now. So this is the manager, right? On the manager, we have got Kubescape installed, right? And we have got workers, multiple workers are with us. And 100% right, they are connected. Now, what happened when I give this command, enable host scan, Kubescape, in order to fetch details of the host, it install a small agent right it install a small agent on the workers very interesting thing right it install a small agent on the workers this agent then sends the information to the kubescape right and once the scan is over you might be wondering what will happen to this agent once the scan is over this agent will be removed right that's interesting. So let's try this, right? Let's try this. So this is what happens. So if I give this command here, so if I run this command, I just copy paste it, right? And I have mentioned these commands in the GitHub repository also. So you can refer that. So if I open it, these things are there, right? Enable host scan verbose. So it's very easy for you to do a copy paste. See, idea is I should know that these kinds of tools exist. Unfortunately, they are not they are generally not a part of any standard training. But people use it in the industry. That is why I call it at Network Nuts, we call it high value extra. So we keep on delivering these quality trainings during our uh, official like the trainings that we, we uh, like that we offer. So if you think, yeah, this is interesting and I like the way you you are teaching or I like the way it's being explained feel free to join us for the cka training it's going to be very exhaustive detailed and as close to the production environment okay coming back so what i do i paste it here i press enter here see it is scanning these are the tools which people use but not shared during the training so that's why our trainings are of uh, greater duration and we dig more into things See, installing host scanner, I told you, right? It installed that agent on the host. That host scanner will then send the details to the Kubescape. And once the details are sent, it will be removed. Wonderful, amazing thing. You need these to prove uh, your knowledge base, right? You need these things to stand apart. So it will take some time. Let's try this right so people normally uh, i will love to share these kind of like small small encounters i normally have with the students uh, i think a couple of days ago someone told me they have uh, means taken the course somewhere and not at all happy with the audience means some students were there which were not even knowing the whim so wastage of time okay see here it's coming up it's downloading the right object i'm doing it for the first time so it will obviously take slightly more time right host scanning is being happening isn't it amazing let's see it so it is going on in the meanwhile we can talk so this these things like trivi is again there which can you can use to scan the images because before you use an image in the production you should scan the image for any cvs right vulnerabilities 
So trivi is one of the uh, tool which industry uses. But yes, Cubescape is very good. I will show you how you can use different frameworks also while doing the scan. Let me do a pause and once it is over, I will show you. Yeah, it's coming up. It won't, it hasn't taken much time. So I just started the pause and ended the pause. This is it. Done scanning. Right. Wow. These are the things that I have to take care now before you run it in the production. Right. Obviously, you need to be aware of what it is doing. So it has given you a complete report. I, I have the option of converting this report into a PDF or a HTML format to make it more visually appealing. But this is what it has shown you, right? And some severities are, are there listing the Kubernetes secret, access control services, core DNS is poison, right? And if I scroll down, now you need uh, knowledge to counter these things, right? But yeah, at least the scanning is done. And then if, if I know how to change these things and I will be able to do it, see a couple of things, failed resources by severity, right? Critical. These things are very, very important. API server is running on insecure port, right? Is insecure port is enabled, right? This is not failed. Perfect. So these are high severities, which you have to take care, right? Medium severities like uh, exit into the container right. now these things can be done now apart from this I can use different frameworks like suppose it is currently you see I told you it can use NSA compliance metre compliance even the CIS so if I show you here if you wanted to use a particular framework you can simply write the framework name so if I are copy it here only NSA I copy it right and I paste it here and I simply paste it here that's all so that means I'm instructing the cubescape to use the NSA framework to scan right I can change the frameworks as per your company requirements you can change the framework you can also take the uh, output in the PDF HTML won't take much time now wow this is it as per NSA guidelines, these things are there. I have 15 failed resources for automatic mapping of service account, right? I have to take care of that. Container host port, I, ha I have to take care of that. Audit log is enabled. It has failed. I need to enable auditing. By default, on a Kubernetes cluster, auditing is not enabled. PSP need to be enabled, port security policies, right? So now you can send this report to your seniors or your seniors might send you this that and while doing the compliance and the audits they run these tools right so you know how good my cluster is configured and how secure it is right so all other options are there like you wanted to scan for specific namespaces now if you are aware of kubernetes you are aware of these things you can use excluding specific namespaces you can also scan yaml files for any issues in the YAML files. So let me try this. I don't think I have a YAML file here. If I have, I'll check it. I don't have, I'll copy it. So if I copy a, a YAML file from our uh, GitHub, right? Repository, I simply copy a YAML file, a very simple YAML file, which might not be as per the compliances, right? So I just copy this one. I copy this whatever it is right copy it and I paste it here I call it say depth1.yaml I create a folder that will be good wait I say mkdir uh, cube code right let's call it cube code I go to cube code and I say I say depth1.yaml and I paste it here right that's it so it has got something I'm not checking so I can tell the cubescape to scan this right cubescape scan very simple sorry i have to go back to my high values extras so i will be going to the high value extra here and 
here it is cubescape sorry that is the dashboard clicked on the wrong link no 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 this is this right so scan it scan asterisk.yaml so if i write here cube cubescape scan asterisk.yaml all the yum yaml file or a specific yaml file now it is scanning for the yaml file right or the code is as per the canonical guidelines or not this is interesting it is capable of checking your uh, helm charts also right see so downloading the scanning file allow privilege escalate escalation these things forbidden container registries because i'm using docker hub right resource memory request cpu right memory request so they these are there these are there if it is there see def one i i think i had mentioned it right here it is if i remove this let's check it out currently in the scan it says yes you have defined it right the uh, cpu field resource is zero right now if i remove this def one someone might not have uh, supplied the resource block right i'm removing this let's see it now right so we will have a clear idea how it is working or will it be able to give me an error for that let's check it out so even you can scan your github repository so these tools helps you a lot making you more efficient yeah see failed it is failed now resource limit need to be given right so this is your score images from allowed re like registry right cves are there a lot of things pod is in the default namespace practically if like we we normally share it in our kubernetes training no production level applications will ever run in the default namespace we just leave the default namespace like we normally leave the default vpc whenever you are working on amazon web services or like that right labels are there right common label usage so read it and if you wish you can take it in a pdf format so let me do it say i scan it right i wanted the output to be given in a pdf format or a html format right so i can simply copy paste this like this cubescape scan framework i use a specific framework pdf format and output file name whatever it is right so i should be getting a scan result file and then that file i can send it to the appropriate person or the right person who will be taking care of that so let's check it out if i'm able to get this or not so this is it so if i go to the ui right that is actually the server is or my workstation is so if i copy go here i should have the file with me right mm scan results right so i can op open it i open it and let me see yeah. in my home directory i should have the scan result here it is right copy open it with, with whatever tool you have but the point is see how flexible it is i have this cubescape by armo and this is your report right feel free to see it read it view it and do it so this is what i intend to share with you i hope you have liked it do share in the comments whether it's a useful tool or not you how you you like the video and feel free to join us for these kinds of interesting trainings with all these contents which are not a part of any official training thank you very much i'll see you again take care jai